Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to do a follow up on the news that Bo DeMeo, the showrunner of X Men 97, uh, you know, he was fired last week apparently for unknown reasons. And now there's rampant speculation uh -huh. as to why he was fired. Apparently, uh, Disney doesn't like it when you open an OnlyFans. And uh, um, show everybody your, your one-eyed mutant Cyclops. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it was weird because he got gone the day before the premiere event, and then all his socials disappeared. Yes. And apparently he was accused of, like, harassing people, too. But that that was a whole, one, yeah. But. Yeah, that was a whole thing. And that could be, I mean, that, look, I'm not saying it's not true, but there are a lot of people that have an axe to grind with him because of what went down during The Witcher which he was on and he was very vocal about the changes they were making from the Witcher, you know, from the books and the movies. And But he wasn't wrong about he wasn't those wrong. things. And he wasn't wrong about the fact that he wanted people that knew the source material to work on the show for X-Men 97. Um, but apparently there's other reasons they found to get rid of him. Yeah. And this, this, this kind of kills me because I, I actually had hope for X-Men 97 because of him, because I was like, well, if this guy's actually going to stay true to the source material, and he's only going to hire people that want to respect the source material. Maybe it'll be okay. And then we started getting some leaks. And I was like, oh, okay, well, maybe it's not that big of a deal. And now it's like, yep, yep, he's gone. Yeah, and apparently he did all of season one and two. And he was starting to work on season three when this happened. So he didn't, clearly didn't think he was getting gone. And then he was gone. So something had to, we knew something had to have gone down. Yeah, so let's uh, let's talk about this again. Just one Clarify, this is speculation. This, this is, is what, a rumor. We don't know. But he was kind of uh, loud and proud about, about this uh, account. They actually mentioned it in a couple of interviews with him. But, uh, you know, he assured people it was a clean account. And right. they're people saying, supposedly no. have images of it, but they, they blurred of out his Cyclops. <laughs> and I'm like, but to be fair, uh, I haven't seen the actual original images, nor am I going to go look at the original images because I don't want to see them. But it is possible that somebody just, you know, whited out like an area that was like underwear or something like that too it's but possible that he know, was wearing it, a, a thong or it's something possible do i think it's you know i don't know i'm just saying to be fair <laughs> but i don't know somebody who probably wouldn't saw the images we're going to tell us in the comments but i'm not looking at it because i don't want to see it <sighs> i'm just like is disney paying their people so little that they have to do only fans I don't know. I'm surprised they didn't put their child stars up to that because that sounds like some hippie to one. But no, they like to keep that stuff to themselves. Oh so my so god! Mostly Nickelodeon likes to. Oh keep my that god! Stuff to all themselves. stuff coming but out about Nickelodeon with Dan Schneider and I'm, I'm not, like, oh well, my no, god! Another guy. This other guy that was like, yeah, he was on set creeping around. But yeah, they're, so they're I'm just like, dang. Schneider Productions that that like all like all the kids that that worked on these really popular shows are all like permanently scarred. Anyway, let's let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, so this is coming from Phantom Wire again. Just speculation. Uh, Disney's not going to come out and say like, "Yeah, we found a video of him jerking off." Uh, so we decided to get rid of him a week. Oh, before I didn't the think premiere. it was that bad, was it? From my understanding, it was just nude pictures, wasn't it? Just tasteful nudes. Uh, openly gay. Well, what does that have to do with anything? Openly, it has nothing to do with anything. Openly gay X-Men 97 writer Bo DeMeo, who defended Henry Cavill's stance on... God, these are paragraphs. Who defended Henry Cavill's stance on it's The like, Witcher. Called, we have to get all the keywords in so that, that you know, we get, we get found. Yep. Because Google's up to shenanigans again. Was allegedly fired by Marvel for the most absurd reason. But it seems that Bo DeMeo's extracurricular pursuits may have landed him in hot water with Marvel. I'm sorry, but it's funny that this says comic books and superhero flicks. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that would be a woman. This is more I'm of a sorry. super superhero stroke. Oh, um, this is funny. I just found that that a funny use of the word flick. Anyway, according I know what they meant though. According to the Hollywood Reporter, they fired DeMeo, an openly gay writer. Again, what so does that what? have to do? Unless they're trying to say, oh, you're firing gay people. I don't know. Well, okay. So I, I did mention in the other X-Men video, I said it had whatever went down, it had to have been pretty bad to get an openly gay black man fired in current year, mm -hmm. at current year Disney. That's, because they know they get true. backlash. They know they're they going to run with that. Right. Um, so, yeah. They said, appears to Mayo's extracurricular activities may have gotten him into trouble with Marvel executives. Indeed, he was let go by Marvel for allegedly creating an OnlyFans account. 
In addition to working on The Witcher and The Witcher Nightmare of the Wolf, DeMeo was previously both a producer and writer for Moon Knight. Okay. Um, which was, Moon Knight was okay. It was slow. That was my big complaint with Moon Knight. Um, yeah, both Marvel and DeMeo's representatives declined the comment to the outlet about the firing, which happened last yeah, week. Yeah, it happened last week. We didn't find out about it till this week. And then by the time people found out about it, they realized like a lot of social media accounts were gone. Yeah, they said they got rid of his Instagram. Now, I will, I will say... Um, and I thought it was kind of weird because I, I went to his his uh, Twitter to see if he had any information about X-Men or if he was going to weigh in on the the morph debacle, right? Because mm -hmm. everybody was going on about morph potentially being non-binary. I, I don't know if that's the case or if that was just people misunderstanding what was going on, what, whatever. And I thought, well, I'm, I'm curious to see if he's said anything about it. And it was almost all pictures of him posing shirtless. And I'm like, is this the right guy? And I'm like, yep, yeah, Bo DeMeo, showrunner of X-Men. I'm like... Huh. Yeah, because I don't think when Disney huh. when, and Marvel like want it when you go look at the showrunner and and it's just and they're saying I'm the showrunner of a and they're just like, cartoon show. They're just like, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, because they probably have, and I know people are going to argue because they're going to be like, well, Disney's corrupt. Um, but they do have it in a lot of cases when you work on productions, high profile productions like this, they have like morality clauses. And you're and this is how they I thought that they do those anymore. To be completely honest, judging what I've seen on the internet and judging what I've seen out of the people's mouths that work on these shows and at Lucasfilm and the things that they do, I really doubt they have those anymore. Yeah, but they, they used to have they more. Used to. They used to. Okay, so they used to, as of just a couple of years ago, have morality clauses, which is basically you're not going to do or say or whatever, post stuff that's going to make us it's look more than bad. a couple of years ago. It was, it was several years ago, but yes. But that's how they kind of get people to like, oh, we can fire this person because they tweeted this thing because we thought it was whatever because morality clause, right. you know. Anyway, um, yeah, they said that uh, Marvel won't decline on, but they said his Instagram page was live. DeMeo answered a lot of uh, questions concerning the X-Men. Yes, people It'll, kept going there all the time to find out like information. Yeah, yes. which is what I was trying to find, see if he was going to comment on the morph thing. I was like, is he definitively going to say morph is whatever. And then I thought it was weird because when I went, and this would have been a week or two ago, he hadn't posted anything in a while. Twitter? Yeah. Okay. There was a, yeah. Cause I guess when the whole thing, there was a whole debacle, you know, a year ago or something about a character. I forget now what it was. I know we covered it, but oh, I can't it was remember. Sunspot. They said Sunspot. that, yeah, that's Twitter was. was accusing him, and the yes, gay black man of was. whitewashing that's Sunspot. That's what it was. Yeah, Cause the voice um, actor was too light skinned or and something. Yes. And yeah. after that, he wasn't really posting on there too much. I thought he deleted it, but apparently he didn't. But that, that's why he stopped going to X about stuff was because of the whole Sunspot debacle. So that's why um, there wasn't a lot of things from him on Twitter. Yeah, so they're saying, whatever. yeah, they're saying his OnlyFans account has since been deleted. Uh, Pop Tings was the uh, outlet that had it. They speculated he was fired for creating an OnlyFans Again, account. Again, we don't know that. That's what they're speculating. We don't know for sure because Disney's not commenting and neither is he. So. Well, I'm thinking it's something like that. Now, it's possible. Um, <laughs> Did not want to see this, but okay. There you go. But no, I mean, this is, this is the kind of uh, pictures that we would have. Um, yeah, there's no credible source. Yeah, but okay, so I've heard two I've heard two versions. I've heard two versions of this. They said yes, he had a tasteful OnlyFans and then people said no, what actually happened was he did start doing dirty stuff on OnlyFans. I mean, why would he delete the OnlyFans? If that you know what I'm saying? I don't like, know. Like if that wasn't a problem, it's like, well, the dude's unemployed, he's got to make money somehow. Got to put Cyclops back to work, I guess. Um, but so I'm thinking that probably what if he's out of work, it would have been because he did something. So that doesn't make sense. <clears throat> they say, cause he did mention this in an interview he did like, a couple of months ago that he had an only fans, but he's like, yeah, I don't do anything dirty on there or whatever. Uh, if I were an executive and I were looking at the situation though, I'd be like, well, one, it sends a couple of, of, uh, improper message. Cause they're going to be like, wait, the guy who's in charge of this quote, quote, kids cartoon but the problem with that OnlyFans. argument is there's a lot of celebrities that are on like Instagram posting pictures of themselves, you know, half naked or like in a bikini or whatever with a thong and their ass hanging out. And they're working on, you know, cartoon shows as voices or doing other things or doing Disney shows. And they're allowed to do that. So, you know, th that's where I'm at. I'm like, I don't know. If well, I, I'm just trying to be fair here. Right. So it's not just. That wasn't a link for research purposes. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, this is original outcast actually tagged me in on this one. Um, you know, there are allegations that he is, he's 
you know, difficult to work with. Let's just put it. This is what I don't understand. Like they were trying to get him fired off of this project a while ago based on the Witcher stuff. Okay. Yes. And apparently they think they did get him removed from the Witcher the way it sounded. Yeah. Uh, Again, don't know for sure, but it sounded that way. And then they were tr- they were actively trying to cause him trouble about this one, and it didn't get him booted. But now the w- a day before the premiere, he's booted. So that's why I'm like trying to understand. It like, had to have been what, something. Definitely went down. What went down? I don't know. Maybe he did on the wrong person. <laughs> I don't know. And that's that's you know who knows. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking like, look, okay, this could be. There could be a lot of things going on here. This could be part of the bigger, and we're doing videos today talking about Marvel and Star Wars too. This could be part of the bigger picture where Disney is trying to clean things up as quickly as they can, because I think they know Pelts and Rizzullo, there's a good chance that they could come in. And one of the things that they said they want to do, the trying group, is they want to review every project and every person in charge of every project. And I can almost guarantee you, if you get a guy like Nelson Peltz, who's working with Ike Perlmutter, and they come in and Ike Perlmutter's like, so you got this dude out there on OnlyFans running a kid's cartoon with the X-Men. Like, but what the fuck? If he, wasn't, you know? if he wasn't showing nudity stuff on OnlyFans, I get I don't think it's, you know, I get celebrities are on Instagram and have OnlyFans now and they and then they don't go that way. There there was a there was a time that OnlyFans wasn't porn. It was basically for OnlyFans. Right. And then there was like, saying, well, I know, get paid more if I whip my Cyclops out. Yeah. You know? On Instagram, though, there's a lot of celebrities that are doing everything but it's like literally a band-aid, a cover of nips, and that's fine. Um, <laughs> they're not fired. So I I don't know. It's it's just it's you know, speculation. It's weird that they won't comment on it. It's weird that they're not having one of those um, but you know, no oh, problems. we had creative differences. I'm like, the dude did two seasons of this but show. But then Gina Carano says a couple things, and they, they have no problem making She's public abhorrent. statements about her being abhorrent and everything else. And that was Lucasfilm. But still, public statements you know, about stuff. And now she's suing them because they, you know, for, for whatever, because they said she was abhorrent because she put a post up that Susan Sarandon pretty much did the same thing not long after, and they're all applauding her for now. Um you know, I, I'm just saying there's a big double standard. They have no problem making a comment then, but they're not telling anybody why this guy got gone. Yeah, so this when is they a, about James Gunn. They had comments. Why aren't they saying anything now? Yeah, James Gunn, and that was just a. I mean, it was a you know bad taste, a joke in bad taste. But when he made that joke, that was kind of the norm, right? It was mm-hmm. you know you were allowed to make. But then they, but jokes you, were, they you, you knew why, but they're not telling you why. It's weird. Yeah, so they, this person was pissed. I think this person worked with them uh, on The Witcher, but they were pissed that he created a gay Witcher character and then they killed the gay character off. They're like, you're burying the gays. And it's like, it's just kind of like, yeah, wh- whatever. Anyway, I was doing. I, don't, I, I, th- I think it probably, though, um, I, I would say that that might be what they use to support the firing of him if push comes to shove. But people, there were people that were saying he was difficult to work with. And he was demanding, and um, maybe that's why I got. Fired you know, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I I think what what guts me about this though is that I actually thought this guy would get it. I actually thought that, um, you know, we had somebody that went to bat for Henry Cavill in The Witcher, and he, we know he wasn't happy with yeah. it, and that that season four is going to be dead on arrival. Well, what made me happy about what he said was the fact that he was busy working on the show and he was like, there, you don't want a writer's room where people are actually mocking the source material. Yeah. And I was like, that is a valid point. It's what we've been saying. So you're like, yay, okay, it's going to be great. And then now we, one, we don't know. It might still be good. We have no idea. It but might we, be. I, it, but I, I can tell you, if it turns out to be good now, it's not going to be good moving forward after season two because now they're going to put somebody completely different on it who probably doesn't have an OnlyFans. Yeah, this is what he said about it with The Witcher. He said, um, and this is why I had hopes for, for the show. He said, I've been on the show, namely The Witcher, where some of the writers were not fans or actively disliked the books and the games. It's a recipe for disaster and bad morale. Fandom as a litmus test checks egos and makes all the long nights worth it. You have to respect the work before you're allowed to add to its legacy. And I know the guy who was the showrunner of the original X-Men, though, I don't know if he didn't like him very much or whatever, because he actually uh, tweeted out the story and he was just kind of like, Hmm, you know, so I, I don't know. And now he was a black dude too. The guy that yeah, ran the original show. I, I so. have no idea. Basically we don't know. We I'm don't just know. Saying that, that this is the These current, are the rumors. current rumor that it was the only fans. Um, I'm sure some of you do know about the only fans, what was on it. So let us know in the comments because I'm not going out there to look. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to look for that. All right. We're going to wrap it up. Yes. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views and rants. And we'll talk later. Bye.